Ever wondered how Thailand transitioned from the devastation of Ayutthaya to the grandeur of Ratanakosin? The key lies in the Thonburi period. The Thonburi period, a brief but pivotal time in Thailand's history, was a beacon of hope in the midst of chaos. Following the fall of Ayutthaya in the late 18th century, the country was left in ruins, its once majestic capital sacked, and its people left to pick up the pieces. In the wake of this destruction, a new leader emerged, a general known as Taksin. Taksin, a man of vision and determination, took the reins of the shattered nation and established the Thonburi Kingdom. From the ashes of Ayutthaya, Thonburi rose on the west bank of the Chao Phraya River, marking a new chapter in Thailand's saga. With Toxin at the helm, the kingdom began to rebuild, not just physically but also socially, politically and spiritually. Toxin's leadership was the catalyst for the restoration of order and stability. He reorganized the fragmented administrative system, revitalized the economy, and revived the morale of the people. Toxin's reign was a period of recovery and consolidation, a time when the Thai people began to regain their footing and rebuild their identity. But it wasn't just about rebuilding. Toxin also sought to protect the kingdom from future threats. He strengthened the military, fortified the capital, and established alliances with neighboring states. His efforts laid the groundwork for the resilience and longevity of the Thai nation. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Toxin faced numerous challenges, both internal and external. There were rebellions to quell, foreign invaders to fend off, and political intrigues to navigate. Despite these hurdles, Toxin's leadership enabled the kingdom to weather the storms and set the stage for the next phase of Thailand's history. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end, the Thonburi period was no exception. As the Thonburi period waned, a new era dawned. Enter the Ratanakosin period. The Thonburi period, while brief, was a time of remarkable resilience. But like all historical epochs, it had its sunset. The sun set on Thonburi due to a multitude of factors, chief among them, the political instability and internal conflicts that plagued the kingdom. General Toxin, the founder of the Thonburi Kingdom, was a figure of immense strength and determination. However, his reign was not devoid of controversy, and eventually, it was this controversy that led to his downfall. As General Toxin's rule became increasingly erratic, his once loyal subordinates began to question his fitness to rule. This discontent culminated in a palace coup, effectively ending the Thonburi period. But as one door closes, another opens. The end of Thonburi was merely the prologue to the birth of Ratanakosin. In the wake of the palace coup, General Chao Freya Chakri, who would later be known as King Rama I, seized the opportunity to establish the Ratanakosin Kingdom. The kingdom was named after its capital, Ratanakosin Island, which we now know as Bangkok. King Rama I was the founder of the Chakri dynasty, a lineage that continues to rule Thailand to this day making it one of the world's longest reigning monarchies. The Chakri dynasty brought stability and order to a nation that had witnessed tumultuous times. King Ramadwarf's reign marked the start of a new era, characterized by consolidation of power, cultural preservation, and a renewed focus on traditional Thai values. The transition from Thonburi to Ratanakosin was a critical juncture in Thai history, marking not just a change in leadership, but a shift in ideology and governance. It was a time of renaissance, a time of rebirth, and a time of re-establishing a national identity. With the Chakri dynasty at the helm the Ratanakosin period promised a new chapter in Thailand's history. The Ratanakosin period was not just about a new dynasty, it was about a visionary king who reshaped the future of Thailand. In the late 18th century, as the Thonburi period dwindled, a new chapter was waiting to unfold in the annals of Thai history. This was the dawn of the Ratanakosin period, heralded by the ascension of King Rama I, the first monarch of the Chakri dynasty. But who was this king, and what made him a visionary? King Rama I, born as Thong Duang, was an accomplished military leader with a clear vision for his kingdom. His most significant decision, perhaps, was moving the capital from Thonburi to Bangkok in 1782. This wasn't a decision made on a whim. The location of Bangkok, on the east bank of the Chao Phraya River, was strategically perfect. It was defensible, with the river acting as a natural barrier against potential invaders, and it was accessible, fostering trade and communication. But King Ramadhofen's vision extended beyond military strategy. He was a cultural architect who understood the importance of preserving and promoting Thailand's rich heritage. 
he commissioned the construction of the Grand Palace, a splendid architectural marvel that continues to stand as a symbol of the nation's cultural ingenuity. Within the palace walls, he also established Vat Phra Kai, the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, which houses one of the most revered Buddha images in Thailand. King Rama I was also instrumental in consolidating Thai literature, religion, and law. He orchestrated the compilation of the Tripitaka, the Buddhist scriptures, and the Ramakian, the Thai version of the Indian epic Ramayana. In the realm of law, he ordered the creation of the Three Seals Law, a comprehensive legal code that profoundly influenced Thai jurisprudence. The reign of King Rama I marked the beginning of the Chakri dynasty, a lineage of kings who, like their progenitor, would leave indelible imprints on the nation. The Chakri monarchs continued to uphold, protect and nurture the Thai culture, traditions and people. They navigated the tides of change, steering the kingdom through the challenges of modernization and colonial pressures, without surrendering their sovereignty. Today the Chakri dynasty stands as a testament to the resilience and continuity of the Thai nation. Each monarch from King Rama I to the present King Rama VI, has played a vital role in shaping Thailand's unique identity, blending tradition with progress and sovereignty with diplomacy. Indeed, the Ratanakosan period was not just about a new dynasty, it was about a series of visionary kings who, one after another, reshaped and continued to reshape the future of Thailand. As we delve into the annals of history, we find that the echoes of their reigns continue to reverberate in the heart of the nation. The Chakri dynasty continues to rule Thailand to this day, making it one of the world's longest reigning monarchies. From the ashes of Ayutthaya rose the Thonburi and Ratanakosan periods, reshaping Thailand's destiny. A tale of resilience and rebirth, the Thonburi and Ratanakosan periods breathed new life into the Thai nation, creating a legacy that endures to this day. The Thonburi period, though brief, was instrumental in laying the groundwork for Thailand's future. Under the leadership of General Thaksin, a man of vision and determination, the Thonburi kingdom emerged as a beacon of hope following the fall of Ayutthaya. This period marked a critical turning point in Thai history, serving as a symbol of national resurgence and a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Thai people. But the sun set on the Thonburi kingdom all too soon, making way for the dawn of the Ratanakosan period. The transition was more than just a change of guard, it was the birth of a new era, one that would define Thailand for centuries to come. The Ratanakosan period marked the advent of the Chakri dynasty, under whose reign Thailand has flourished and evolved, its capital, Bangkok, becoming a vibrant metropolis, and a global destination. The Chakri dynasty, with King Rama Worst at its helm, has been a constant in the ever-changing landscape of Thailand's history. Over two centuries, their rule has brought about significant changes, shaping the country's social, cultural, and political facets. The Chakri dynasty's influence extends beyond the confines of the palace walls, permeating every aspect of Thai life. From the grand temples that dot the landscape to the bustling streets of Bangkok, their legacy is evident and enduring. The Ratanakosan period, under the Chakri dynasty, has seen Thailand navigate the tides of change, preserving its rich heritage while embracing modernity. The Chakri monarchs have played a key role in this delicate balancing act, ensuring that Thailand remains true to its roots while adapting to the demands of the modern world. Their reign has been marked by a keen understanding of the past, and a clear vision for the future, a combination that has allowed Thailand to flourish and grow. As we journey through the annals of Thai history, the influence and impact of the Thonburi and Ratanakosan periods are undeniable. They represent a critical juncture, a period of transformation and renewal that shaped Thailand's destiny. The legacy of these periods, and the Chakri dynasty that ensued, continues to resonate, casting a long shadow over Thailand's present and future. So the next time you marvel at the grandeur of Thailand, remember the Thonburi and Ratanakosan periods, for they are the architects of the nation we know today. Their tale is one of resilience and rebirth, of a nation rising from the ashes to forge a new destiny. It's a story that continues to unfold, its chapters written by the people of Thailand, under the watchful guidance of the Chakri dynasty.